flowers pipe. Now I've started to do a little bit of prep work before I turn the camera on. All I've done initially is I'm just getting my piping bag and I've just got a little bit of mica in oil and I'm just putting some sort of stripes just down my piping bag a little bit just so it could add some colour. To my soap as it comes out. Okay so I've just got a nice light pink soap in here. I'm not going to put very much in because I find it easier to control a piping bag when I'm doing fiddly flowers with much less soap in. Okay, so you can see not even half the piping bag filled really and the tip I've got is this sort of like little smiley face tip it's a Wilton number 81 tip now, I've already made a start with some of my flowers I've been doing quite a bit of piping today so let's just have a look the one I'm really concentrating on for this soap is the chrysanthemum flower so I'm just going to take my piping nail, blob a bit of this icing or piping on it and I've just been making some middles already. So all I've done with these is I've piped a little bit of green and then I've just done some little stripes of yellow on it. Okay and that's set up a little bit. And I just find it easier to get some of those knocked out to start with before I then go on to the rest of the soap. Right, let's get this done. So all I'm doing is take my smiley face and I'm gonna just start adding this and bringing it up and over. there's row one and I'm going to go again but I'm just going to go slightly lower down okay so I've sort of got my center and now I'm going to carry on piping but I'm going to allow the action my bag to move slightly away from the middle just to open up the flowers a bit making our main soap now so what I've got is I've poured out all my oils I need and I'm going to do a sort of an ombre it's going to be a sculpted layers ombre so it's not going to be like an ombre pour it's just going to be layers on layers on layers with the color going from the darker pink right through to white so I'm going to make up some pink and some white so I'm going to mix all my pink oils first now the colour I'm going to use is Red Riot from Micah Mama. Now this is much more of a, a beautiful dark deep crimson pink rather than a red so that's why I use this Red Riot. So to put my mic that I need. And 
and then I'm also going to have some titanium dioxide because I don't want it to be that really really dark pink so this is just my pre-dispersed TD okay. and then I just want some white as well so here are my oils that are going to be white Okay, so these are just my oils at the moment and um, as it's an ombre to be honest it doesn't matter if I don't get all of the pink exactly the same because I'm going to be diluting it with the white anyway so the only reason I'm really mucking around with this is one so I can then get my colour all mixed up in one go and also secondly so I can sort of control the colour you know I can say I want I'm going to use sort of like in my first layer, I'm going to have 80% of the pink and then I'm going to go down and have 60% and then 40% and then 20% and then none. So hopefully I've got sort of quite a nice consistent gradient going through. Yeah, you could do a similar thing by just measuring your oils and then just working out how much mica to put in each time. Okay, so I'm happy with those and then the other thing I'm going to be doing but I'm not going to do it quite yet is I've got a small amount of oils there that as I get about halfway up through this I will then mix these up with some green mica and this will become some piping for some leaves on the top. Okay so for the first one I want it quite heavily pink so I'm have 80% of my oils with this pink and then 20% with the white Now what I have done is when I'm pouring out these oils is I originally worked out how much oil I wanted for each layer but then I knew I was adding mica and I was adding some titanium dioxide so what I've done is I've then reworked it out to split those ratios including the extra weight for the mica so say for example if I wanted 100 grams of oil the mica in it in that whole lot may mean I now needed to pour off 101 grams of my pink solution just to make sure I'm staying with the same amount of oil okay so there's my first layer I'm going to do the lye solution for that now I master batch all of my lye so I've always got a load ready so I can just pour off what I need and then also my sodium lactate my layer and that I'll just repeat for each layer gradually making this lighter and lighter colour. So just check those temperatures I often get quite questions about master batching see those oils are now at 74 degrees Fahrenheit and my lye solution is at 59 degrees Fahrenheit so that's too chilly and certainly that would give me a false trace so I'm just going to pop that in the microwave just literally for about five seconds will be plenty and I find for me with my recipe soaping between 80 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit is great now fragrance oil wise I don't have a chrysanthemum <laughs> fragrance oil so I'm going for another floral I'm using honeysuckle fragrance oil um, I know these aren't honeysuckle flowers but it's a nice floral fragrance it's a fragrance oil that behaves reasonably okay for a floral so that's good um, also as well 
you may know that in the UK we have assessments and things and this was a fragrance oil that I had the colours in it that I needed for this soap. I had a, I have a peony fragrance oil as well in an assessment but it, it didn't have the colours that I wanted in my assessment. I didn't have any green in it so I wouldn't have been able to pipe any flowers. Right, so let's get those blended up. Now I can find this fragrance oil just rice a little, so I'm just going to give it a blend with my mini mixer. Okay, I'm happy with that now that I've got that ricing out. Okay, we need to pour it reasonably quickly before it thickens. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to leave that to set up a little bit and then we will scrape that layer. Okay, so our first row is all nicely set up. Let's get this scraped. scraper sort of chrysanthemum you know like the, the leaves the petals of the chrysanthemum coming up but I deliberately made it fairly flat so I'm not scraping too much off each time and then to finish that off in between each layer I'm going to do a nice gentle gold mica lime this is golden shimmer i've just put mine in a little jar that i've got and stretched over a clean bit of stockings tight socks whatever you want to call them so i'm just going to gently add some gold shimmer here golden shimmer this is golden shimmer from mica mama okay i think that will do I'm going to go around and clean off all of those sides and then we'll do the next layer. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? Just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till 
just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you. So we finished building our soap, and here are our flowers that we're going to put on the top. I've obviously got too many to go on the top of this soap, but then that's great because I can use them another day. I did have some other flowers that I just piped from the scraps they're just sitting in that pot and again I can use those on other soaps right so what I'm going to do with these I'm really pleased with those so what I'm going to do with these is here's my soap set up and it's deliberately filled right to the top I did make up my green piping so you can see that's nice and ready now so let's get ourselves just a basic standard leaf tip flowers that we piped carefully peel it off its backing and then position it in the middle I'm going to try that bigger leaf tip to see if I like it better So it's actually a couple of days later I haven't had time to cut it yet so now these are going to be cut in quite chunky bits because I want them to have a whole flower on but I've deliberately made the depth of the soap shorter so it's not such a tall bar it's a short bar but they're still going to be pretty chunky soaps now I'm just putting in a pipette in the side here just because the leaves extend over the side of the soap so I can't push it against the side and get it lined up perfectly so I'm just going to use that glass pipette to sort of give me a little barrier so I can make sure it's nice and straight okay so there's our first so it's so pretty on the top isn't it I really love it and oh let's put it out the right way there's our inside. I think that's come out really nicely on the inside. A very gentle mica line, which is what I wanted. I didn't want a big, heavy mica line, but I just wanted some sort of area of difference just to show very gently through there. So 
exposed earlier. Now these are, as I say, pretty big bars of soap, but I'm sure quite often I find people will buy soaps and not use them anyway. But I think after you've looked at this soap for a little while, um, certainly you could even chop it in half or whatever and use it. And then just to finish off, here's a final photo of the soap. I hope you like the soap and you've enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be great if you gave me a thumbs up and why not consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy soaping.